Hi, I'm John. I work at one of our Apple retail stores, and I'll be taking you through a guided tour of iMovie 09. iMovie 08 introduced a whole new way to organize, edit, and enjoy your videos. Now, iMovie 09 adds powerful yet easy to use features that can help take your projects even further. There are new editing tools that make it simple to put together clips quickly or fine tune every scene. New animated titles and video effects that you can add with ease and amazing new themes that give your movie a professional look in seconds. iMovie 09 makes it incredibly easy to make advanced edits just by dragging and dropping your video clips. Let me show you. Here's an event I just imported that I'd like to use for a movie. I'll start with this shot of the lake. To add it to my project, I select the portion of the clip I like and drag it in. Now I'll add this shot to show the name of the lake. In iMovie 09, when I drop one clip over another, I see a whole new menu of editing choices. I could select Replace to swap this clip with the other, but I want to use both clips, so I'll click Insert. Right where I drag my mouse, the first clip splits to make room for the new one. This is looking good, but I can make it even better by adding some audio. I'm sure you're going to miss this place. Never going to forget it. This line would work really well. I'm sure you're going to miss this place. Never going to forget it. Now when I drop it into my project, I simply choose audio only. Just by dragging and dropping, I have combined three separate clips to create a nice, entertaining edit. I'm sure you're going to miss this place. Never going to forget it. iMovie 09 features a powerful new tool to help you edit your projects. It's called a Precision Editor. It's easy enough for anyone to use and sophisticated enough to make perfect edits every time. Here are two clips I edited together to look like they were shot at the same time. They're pretty good, but the splashes aren't matching up. It would be great if I could cut between them at the exact moment when the boy hits the water. To adjust the timing, I just click here and open the Action menu, a new feature in iMovie that gives me quick access to my editing, video, and audio adjustment tools. I'll select the Precision Editor. This powerful new view shows me the cut point, where one clip ends and the other begins, and the shaded areas on either side show me the unused portions of each clip. To cut right when the boy lands, I just skim the film strip and click where I want the edit. To find a similar moment on the second clip, I do exactly the same thing. Just skim and click. When I play this back, I can see that I've matched the action perfectly. But the sound of the splash got cut off. With the Precision Editor, I can also fine tune the audio and quickly fix this. By clicking here, I can adjust the audio independently of the video. I just drag here to extend the better splash sound from the first clip over the second clip. This is an advanced edit that's easy with iMovie 09. With a few simple clicks in the Precision Editor, I have made a far more refined and sophisticated edit. The Precision Editor works with more than video and audio. It also gives you complete control over the timing of your transitions, titles, and even sound effects. In addition to powerful editing tools, iMovie 09 offers some great new ways to enhance your projects. You can instantly add Hollywood-style animated titles, change the look of your footage with new video effects, or make your clips play faster, slower, or even in reverse. Let's take a look. Here's a project I'm working on that needs a title. I click the title browser and drag my selection into my project. I can choose to overlay the title onto any video clip, or I can drop the title where there isn't any video, which opens a preview palette of background options. I skim to find a background I like and click to choose it. I think underwater works well. Then I type in my title. 
I click Done, and it plays over the background instantly. To change the style of any title, I double-click the title to open the inspector. Clicking the Title button opens a preview palette of title styles. I can skim over the thumbnails in the palette to see the styles update in the viewer. When I find the one I like best, I click it and it's instantly applied to my original text. With iMovie 09, I can also adjust the speed of any clip. Here's a shot that would look great in slow motion. I select clip adjustments from the action menu to bring up my speed controls. I can drag this slider to the right to make the clip play faster. Drag it to the left to play it slower. Or click here to play the clip slow and in reverse. Adjusting how fast or slow a clip plays is a quick and easy way to add a little fun to my movie. Adding video effects is just as easy. Here's a clip that would look great with an effect. To add one, I select Clip Adjustments from the Action menu. Then click the Video Effects button to bring up the preview palette. From there, I can skim over the thumbnails or press the space bar to preview an effect in the viewer. Here's an effect called X-Ray, and another called Vignette. Aged film looks good on this clip. One click applies it, and it plays back instantly. Just like that, I've completely changed the look of my clip. We've looked at ways iMovie 09 can help you edit your clips and add titles and effects. Now I'd like to show you some new features that can improve the quality of your clips and even transform your entire project, starting with a powerful new video stabilization tool that can smooth out shaky video. Here's a shot that's pretty shaky. Compare it with the same video after it's been stabilized. The difference is dramatic. The camera is steady and the movement is smooth and fluid. Here's how it works. To begin, I select some of the clips from my event that I want to stabilize or the whole event. Then I choose Analyze for Stabilization from the File menu. This process may take a while, but it's worth the wait. iMovie analyzes every pixel in every frame to calculate how much the camera was moving during the recording. Here's that same shot after it's been analyzed. See how it's still